All right, guys, let's ride. Hi everyone, welcome to Motographer's channel. I'm Verisia and today I'm going to talk more about helmet cameras. So yeah, you have been, you guys have been seeing me, I always emphasize on helmet cameras. I always encourage riders to get it. Basically, helmet cameras are very high as important compared to the DVR. DVR is also important on your bike, it shows front and back. But for helmet cameras, it shows your point of view. So you can actually show that you have um, checked your blind spot, the person is in a blind spot where he suddenly jumped out, you know. There is actually more proof, more evidence, you know, to be able to uh, to be able to explain your situation in terms of when people is trying to eat you, in terms of uh, insurance, in terms of claiming, and especially when it's not your fault, at least you got more evidence to actually fight through it, fight through the claim. So as you know that I use the DB01, okay, which is actually the mount on top. Okay, so let me share with you. I'm sure you see in my Instagram uh, video reels or footage, you will see me with my helmet and with my camera on top. So you can see over here. So the thing about it, why I put it there is because I'm about to see the front and rear and it is actually um, more centralized. Yeah. The reason why I also don't want to put it aside because it was actually extruding a lot with this mount. So, that one I will talk about the mounting a bit later. So yeah, this is what I've been using and I've been very happy with its quality. The front and rear in 1080p, very good quality even at night. So I'm good for it, I'm good for it. Today I'm going to review its upgrade version, which is a DB05. So let me show you the DB05, okay? Let me just uh, put this aside. And here is the DB05. So let me see over here, yeah. Here's the DB05. Sorry, uh, a little hard for me to... Okay, here, here it is. Here's the DB05. So basically, you see the DB05, I actually mount it at the side. So what, why is it that I don't mount it on top? I mean, I have a top mount over here, but why is it I don't mount it on the top? Basically, it comes with a new mount now. So I'm going to take it out and I'll show it to you. So you can see, here's the, here's the new mount now. So you can see it's actually quite, quite uh, how to say, slim. Very, very uh, close, very... Uh, tight, you know, it, it's not extruding out as much, you know, this is why it is. So, okay, let me share with you a bit more on the DB05. The DB05 have a few upgrades, alright, so let us go to the upgrade part. Okay, so when it comes to the features, okay, both of them are quite similar in the looks of it, so you can see this is the DB01 and this is the DB05, so basically they look similar, but I can see that the DB05 seems to be slightly shorter. You can, I, I'm not sure whether I just put it up like this. So you can see that, you know, it is slightly shorter a bit, okay. Um, that is uh, in terms of the hardware and the look of it. But both of them have a circular tube shape, which I find it very useful and is less draggy. So that is one good thing about it. The, another thing of the, of the upgrade is that it's running on the USB, um, USB-C charging point, okay? So basically, it charges faster. Especially nowadays, more of the electronics are going to USB-C instead of the micro USB. While the DB01 is still running on the, on the micro USB port, charging port. So, yeah. Uh, the charging for the DB05 will be slightly faster, slightly faster. But overall, I find I'm still okay with the micro USB. So, yeah. Another thing is, that the DB05 comes with 2K resolution compared to the 1080 HD, which is actually on the DB01. So you can have a better resolution. In terms of low light, I find both of them are still comparable. This might be slightly better, but there's only a very slight difference in terms of the, in terms of the low light capability. Yeah, so it's just very little. Okay, other than the other than the resolution, the angle of view has increased by a little bit. It means that for the DB01, it's 140 degree, and for the DB05, it's 150 degree. It's like a slightly 10 degree difference. But I, as you can see that I actually tried, and I don't see really much of a difference. I only see that the watermark of the date, the timing is a little smaller for DB05. 
but there is only a very very slight difference if you look at the edge of the footage right at the edge you will notice that for the dv05 is slightly um wider a little just very very slight so basically the angle of view is um yeah just a little but the resolution of course is way better for db05 because in 2k resolution so i i personally would encourage at least whatever helmet cam you actually put on your helmet uh, it is best that it's at least 1080p okay because if it's like 720p it's cheaper but when something happens remember when something happens you are down on the ground and the vehicle might have kind of run away or is quite distance away from you when that happened well it kind of like you're unable to even see a number plate so 1080 at least okay so let's go to the mounting so basically like what i showed earlier you can see that it's actually very slim very clean cut and this type of mounting now is redesigned in a way that it is actually more hardy you won't actually break them easily so how to actually mount the camera on basically what you do is that <coughs> over here you just um, loosen the screw and up just turn it out open up and you can actually swap the camera you know just like this so it's actually very clean cut i really like it in terms of the way you can actually mount and you know get your camera you know if you want to take out you want to actually maybe clean it you want to actually take out the usb you won't want to take out the mount you can just turn it up just put it up and then you can remove it without even removing it from your helmet so this is way better but okay there is actually i feel there's a downside for it is that the mount um, is only fixed to the side that means that if you want it to be a top mount you still need to use back the old mount okay so it can only go uh it can only angle this way so you can actually angle uh, up up down you know you can see the angle i can just turn it so you can actually just turn up and down from your helmet yeah and that's it you cannot go left right so this is the limitation but this was designed for more for side mount actually it's actually meant for side mount i felt and it is less extrusive so it won't be like popping out really a lot so that, that is why this was designed and they designed this mounting uh, because to prevent it from cracking okay what happened was uh, the previous old mount i think some of us who have this and then we are actually quite rough or uh, keep on moving around sometimes this happens so you can see this is my old mount and uh, yeah it, this part snapped okay why is it that it snapped okay basically i've been using this for quite a while okay i've been using my bb01 this is the top mount okay this is the top mount i've been using it for quite a while the thing is that when you remove the screw first you need to remove the screw <coughs> slowly because i only got this bound so i need it for my travels okay so over here i just remove it and then in to remove the camera okay to remove the camera what you have to do is that you have to pull open and then slowly push out the camera so just you know expand out a bit i see whether you can see over here and then slowly pull out like this so you you actually have to do the you have to do this yeah and then if you are not careful you will just break it so yeah uh th this is one thing that uh i find is just a is just a hiccup i mean it's not really that good and hopefully they can come out with this mount later on for the um, uh, for the top mount that means that this one might be just might be just like a gopro kind of thing it might be just this and we can actually mount it because this is now the side new side mount right you can notice that it's actually fixed on it's screwed on you know and that's it you know you cannot just put this in another in another uh, anchor point like like what i did for the top mount you can see over here let me turn it yeah you cannot do this you know you only can stick with this so this will be the side mount okay for the side mount okay i will use my spartan carbon gt and then this is what i did i just mount it here okay so you can see over here okay this is how i mount it and for sports bike right we tend to be riding a, a little forward this way so we need to adjust the camera correctly so you know we need to adjust the camera this way so that the the point the viewing point is straight so sometimes we bend down a bit so i think we need to adjust a bit higher maybe slightly higher so you know when your helmet is flat down the camera is supposed to be like this because when you're wearing and you're riding it will be more aggressive well let's say you are going to ride um, in a, um, on a scooter on a street bike then you have to you will be riding a little upright you can actually adjust it this way 
So, so it's actually quite adjustable, but it's only on side mount. You can go left, right compared to the top. Okay, one bad thing I feel about this, I mean, it's not really a bad thing, but um, to me, I feel that, you know, you, you cannot have a best at both worlds at times. You do not want extrusion, so when it's quite close to you, it will be actually closer to your shoulder, right at the back. So what happened was, uh, I was riding my Hayabusa, and I had my backpack with me. So this is how my camera is like. So you can see that the camera, the rear, is actually pointing down. Because by right, it's supposed to be, you know, facing, uh, when, you are looking, when you are looking down, here should be straight, and the back will be actually facing a bit lower, so that it won't be a straight thing, because no matter what, right, if it's a straight thing, it might be pointing up to the sky, because we are looking down. So we are, we are riding, it has to have a slight tilt, to actually see the behind. So what happened was, when I'm riding, I noticed that my Tai Chi bag, uh, backpack at the time I was carrying, it was like, kind of like blocking part of my view. So when I was riding, um, I got friends that ride past me from behind, and I can, I can only see part, partially, I cannot really see the road behind. So this is the only downside I felt about this mount. But overall, I find this mount is, uh, is good enough for, for a long distance ride and rides with a little more speed. This one has less drag. In fact, sometimes I don't even feel a drag. I don't feel like my helmet is like being pushed left and right. That's a good thing because of its circular design. So no problem. And also no problem for the top mount as well because it's the circular design, it's the tube design that actually makes a difference. So that's what I felt about um, the side, the side mount. So let me put this aside. Okay, but for the, so for the top mount, okay, um, it's the same thing when I actually ride, okay, my sports, I was actually riding down, okay, we are facing down this way, then I will, I will adjust, okay, I will adjust a bit higher up, we are riding my higher, let's say I ride a scooter or a Vespa, then I will actually turn it down. So basically, right, this, the, these two mounts are adjustable in different ways. Please adjust your camera, because the thing is that you don't, you don't end up uh, thinking, I think the camera is facing the right way, and when something happens, you find out that eh, your footage, uh, it's not showing anything, it might be showing the sky, it might be just showing your dashboard, it will show full dashboard, not even the road. So, sometimes this happens, and sometimes I face this problem as well. So, it is best for you to really uh, ensure, maybe you can connect Wi-Fi and then check your footage. Okay, last but not least, the DB05 has a better Wi-Fi uh, chip inside capability inside so the Wi-Fi transfer of the footage is faster to your handphone compared to the DB01 but the DB01 I find that the Wi-Fi transfer is still fairly decent for 1080 and this one has a higher resolution so actually both are quite good in a way so that's what is the upgrade in the DB05 Anyway, the ease of use for the DB05 is similar to the DB01 so what you do is that over here I will just press and hold and then there will be a short vibration. So I'm not sure whether you can hear the vibration, uh, but basically I just put it at my, um, my mic here. This is the vibration, so I'm going to press and hold again. So you can feel there's two vibrations. So basically when you press on and hold, when it's on, you can feel the vibration through your helmet. So you do not need to actually check on the lights or what. You can just press and then you can feel it on your own. And you press again and hold, you will go to vibration in order to show that it's off. So that's the ease of use of it. And then once you actually on it, it will straight away do recording front and back. So overall, I feel about this uh, DB05, I find that it's really still easy to use. It's a no-brainer. And with this new mount, okay, side mounting is much more simpler, easier. Uh, in terms of the angle wise, well, it's not extruding out. So you cannot really, uh, you cannot have best of both worlds. You want it neat, you want it clean on your helmet. I think this is better, this is good enough. And maybe it's the backpack part. But for my helmet, right, there's no way that I can actually put it higher. So some helmets, you might be able to put it higher, you might not have the back issue that I face. For my helmet, well, it doesn't work that way. So if you're interested in the DB05, the retail is now going for 369. But beside the Technologies has given you all a special discount. You can just put this discount code in the link below to have a 10% off. But if you're still interested in the DB01, okay, it's going for 269 and you can purchase in the website in the link below as well. So here are my conclusion and my uh, review of these two cameras and how I feel about it. 
So write safe and I'll see you in my next video.